Could there be a silent star in the commodity complex? While everyone is talking gold, palladium is silently on the rise. Joining us now is fund manager and U.S. Global Investor CEO, Frank Holmes. Frank, uh, thanks for joining us. It's great to be here. So palladium, it hit a 20-month high Tuesday and is up over 15% this year. 15%, while gold is only up around 5% year to date. Could palladium be the precious metal to watch here, Frank? For sure, and I think the important point is, but 5% for gold is a mammoth greater dollar value move than uh, palladium. Uh, and palladium has had a, two reasons for palladium is the restriction of supply coming out of mines, that Russia dominates palladium, South Africa dominates the platinum production. And I think it's very strategic, you're seeing Sabine, a very ex extremely smart South African gold mining company that's in basically acquiring a platinum and palladium operations here in Stillwater, the takeover, and in South Africa. So there's something going on. I think the big backdrop is China is in uh, uh, pollution. So they're going to need palladium, and it's going to be an important part of this uh, cleanup. Okay, so just really a supply-demand rally we're seeing, Frank. Yes, and remember that the bulk of it comes from Russia. So Russia can slow down that supply, and immediately that demand is not going away, you start to see price appreciation. All right. Uh, looking at gold now, Frank, you brought us a chart today that shows how the metal appears to be tracking last year's performance pretty closely. Could this suggest further upside here for the metal? Yes, it can. I, I think, you know, it's, there's no event. Here's the important part. Over a 12-month rolling period for the past 20 years, gold is flat, actually. It's really shocking to the average person that roll. And therefore, it's very mathematically probable that it can rally here 20%. That'd be one standard deviation over the next 12 months. Shorter term, we're still under over 60 trading days. We're getting close back to the mean, but it could easily rally over the next 60 trading days another 8%. So yes, I do very, think very optimistically towards gold. The inflation numbers are, are out there. They're higher than what people expected. So I think that this is an important factor to consider. Right, so don't panic if we see sideways trading. If we see sideways trading, Danielle, and it's very important for you, the listeners, is next week is Chinese New Year starting, and it's quiet. So last time this takes place, the, the manipulators in the futures market come in and try to knock the price of gold down. They did the first week of October in 2016, and that's the biggest risk on the downside. If they do it, look to buy. All right, Frank, before I let you go, you know it's tradition. I need to ask you, what's your touchdown pass going to be this week? Sentiment, sentiment, sentiment. Michigan is coming out on Friday with sentiment indicators, and I think that's very important. Uh, and also they're going to do a forecast of what they think inflation will be. Frank, thanks so much for joining us. Good to be with you. And thanks for watching this edition of Kitco's Gold Report. We'll be back tomorrow.